Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at problems involving journeys and timetables. Now, timetables are usually in the 24 hour clock, so we need to look at how we change between the 12 hour and the 24 hour clock. Well, obviously the 12 hour clock, you start off at midnight, and then you go through midday, and then you end up at midnight again. Okay, so midnight is when the day begins, although most of us are just in bed or about to go to bed. So that is known as 12 a.m. And then obviously after a certain time, the next hour would be 1 a.m. You might get up about 7 a.m., perhaps before. Midday would be 12 it's 12 p.m. officially, or it could be 12 noon. Then let's say, let's have a time in the afternoon, like 3 p.m. Then in the evening, it could be 7 p.m. And then midnight is known, we've done it already, it's 12 a.m. Okay, so that's really the next day. It's like a cutoff point, I guess. So, 12 a.m is when the day starts. So in the 24 hour clock, that is actually zero, 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 zero. 24 hour clock, it has to have four digits. You can't just put a zero. So 1 a.m. would be zero, one, zero, zero. 7 a.m. would be zero, seven, zero, zero. Right, 12 is, because it's halfway, it's 12. So if, you, if you're asked what is 12, convert into 12 hour clock, it's p.m. Because 12 p.m. midday is when the afternoon starts. If you go to 3 p.m., what we do, we add 12 now. So 3 add 12 is 15. We just do... We just do a couple more of those. Let's say we had 5 p.m. So 5 add 12 is 17. 7 p.m. 7 add 12 is 19. And if we, when we get to 11.59 p.m., we're still in the old day. So that would be 23, because at 12, 23, 59. Right, there is no 24. So we just go, we just reset the clock. If you've ever stayed up to see the new year in, you know that the clock goes to zero, 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 zero. So there's no 24. So it's 24 hours because we've, we've had 23 hours, 59 minutes. We had the next minute, but because it started a new day, it goes to zero. Okay, so that's the 24 hour clock. So our timetable problems we're going to look at in a minute are going to be using the 24 hour clock. Right, remind me, I'm going to use permanent markers, so remind me not to write on the whiteboard. So here is a timetable. Coach timetable. We've got a few problems to work out. So yeah, if I, if I work right on the whiteboard, I've got to use, let's say, the blue pen and the black pen for writing on here. Right, so pretty easy, the first one. Right, let's just do the example. So it's a coach timetable, departure time, obviously that's the time it leaves. Arrival time is the time it gets to its destination. Journey time is how long it took. So if it left at 07, add 09 is adding two hours and then from zero to 30 is 30 minutes, so two hours, 30 minutes. The first question we've got to do here is pretty easy because eight to 10 is just two hours. Eight plus two is 10, so that will be two H, we're just putting H for hours. Okay, so um, similarly easy, the, fit, the minutes staying the same, so we're only looking at the hours. So six plus four is 10, so that was four, hours. Right, the next question, you've got to be careful here. 
the hours have gone up by three, but we've got to be careful with the minutes because say you had um, like in, say you had 10.55 and it went to 13.30, you can't do really do the hours first. So we've got to be careful, do the minutes first. So 15 to 30 is 15 minutes. Going up by 15 minutes would not put it on to the next hour. So we can safely look at the hours now. So 10 to 13 is three hours. So that'd be three hours, 15 minutes. Okay. So there is a little way I'm going to show you. I'm going to use the blue pen, the um, erasable pen. So just to quickly look at that one. So 10.15, what we're saying is if we um, go to, we're going to go to 13.15. So we've added on three hours. And then from 13.15 to 13.30, we've added on 15 minutes. That's why it's three hours, 15 minutes. Okay, so this time we started at 11, we added on two hours, 20 minutes. So we could do one of these little timelines again. You probably do it better than me. Um, right, so we've gonna, we're gonna add two hours. So that's pretty easy because 11 plus two is just 13. And then we're going to add 20 minutes. So this is really straightforward. That's going to take us to 20 minutes, x to 13, 20. So what we've done, we've added on two hours, 20 minutes, which is what we were supposed to do. So we got to 13, 20. So the answer in here, the arrival time is 13, 20. Right, this time, the next question, we, it's a similar thing, but it's going to cross into another hour because we're on 50 here. So it's a little bit more tricky. So we're going to start off at 9.50. There's different ways of doing this, but we're going to do it. Um, just be careful you don't add on too many hours away. So 9.50. Okay, we're fine. Shouldn't be a problem. We're just going to add on three hours first. That's straight, straightforward. So we want to add three hours. So nine plus three is 12. It's very straightforward. So we've got to 12.50. So we've done the three hours bit. Now we've got to add on the 25 minutes. So what I suggest, I've realised that if we break that up, 25, we can break it up into... 10 minutes and then we can have another 15 minutes so 10 plus 15 is 25 so we've done three hours 25 so 1250 plus 10 minutes takes us to 1300 1300 plus 15 takes us to 1315 so the arrival time would be 13, 15, right, the next one is the one where we're going to have to be careful. We've got to go backwards. It's quite a tricky one. So we ended up at 15.10. And we need to know, it took one hour 15, so we need to know how to take that off to get to the departure time. Okay, so what I suggest, the hour is easy. So if we go... We're going backwards, so we're going back one hour. So one hour, 15 minus one, that will take us to 14, 10. So what I sometimes do is like, we have one hour, 15 minutes. So we've used the hour up, we've got 15 minutes to use up. So let's go back 14, 10. What I'm gonna do is go back 10 minutes to 14. So 10 minutes. Okay, so out of the 10 minutes, out of the 15 minutes, we've used 10. So I'm going to cross that out. So we've got five minutes left to use. So now we're going backwards, of course. We've got to go back five minutes. So it's going to be 
we're going back in hours. We were on the hour of 14, so now we're going to be on the 13. Remember, it's 60 minutes in an hour. We've got to take off five, which will give us 55. So the answer is going to be 13, 55. So let's try and make sure I don't use the permanent pens when I shouldn't. I can use it on here. So 13, 55. And if you do quickly check back, you go, right, that could be 14, 55, add 5, 15, add 10, 15, 10. Brilliant. So we've got that one. Right. right. Just safely getting those pens out of the way. Right. Going to have a look at a few questions. Give you a little test. Okay, I hope you've got a pen or pencil and paper. Have a look at some questions. So what you want to do is um, convert to 24 hour time. So we're going to do 8 a.m. and we're going to do 3 p.m. So convert those 24 hour time. Right, the next questions, the train, so train left this Torquay. Train left Torquay at ten fifty five and arrived in Exeter at eleven thirty six. So we want to know how long was the journey? Apologies for the writing, now you know why I have those things, sheets of paper that I stick up onto the board. Okay, and next question, a train was due at 13.47 but arrived Thirty two minutes late. So what time did it arrive? So that's how long was the journey, that's what time did it arrive. So if you need it, take a few minutes to work those out, stop the video, restart it and we'll go through. Okay, so welcome back. So let's have a look. So 8am, it's in the morning, so we don't add anything on, but we have to put it as 0800. In the afternoon, so we're going to add on 12, so 3 plus 12 is 15. So it's 1500. Right, our train left at 10.55, it arrived at 11.36, how long was the journey? So we do a little timeline. So 10.55, first of all, we go to 11, so that is five minutes. Then from 11, it, it travels until 11.36, which obviously is 36 minutes. All we're gonna do is add those together. It's easy to take the bigger one first. 36 plus five equals 41. So the answer is 41 minutes. Let's put a box around it to show that's my answer. Right, this train was due at 13.47 but was it arrived 32 minutes late. In other words, it was supposed to arrive at 13.47 but actually it was 32 minutes late. So what I'd probably do here is add on two minutes. So that's the two bit gone. So that would now take us to 13. 49. And then sometimes it's easier to add, because it's going to go across into the next hour, to add it in um, sequences of 10 minutes. So let's do 10 minutes, which obviously is going to take us to 13.59. So that's 10 minutes. We need to do another 10 minutes. We've got room for this. 10 minutes. That will take us to whatever time that would be. And then from there, another 10 minutes, that'll take us to the answer. Okay, 
So 10, 20, 30, 32. So 32 minutes added. Two minutes take us to there. The next 10 minutes take us to 13.59. So obviously, if we went to 13.69, that doesn't exist, so that's 14.09. And then add on another 10 minutes would be 14.19. So the train, so it arrives at 14.19. Don't put 2.19 or 2.19 p.m. Technically it's correct, but it's better to keep in the 24 hour timetable. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for watching that video. And if you enjoyed that, please check out our website for more great online resources. So the address is www.routes2success11plus.uk or find us on Twitter at Roots to Success. And don't forget, to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos. Thank you.